So apparently Gordon Ramsay almost died and I have no idea what's going on. So I'm checking out this video for more detail. As usual, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, join the fam and yeah, let's get it. You make this full screen, you know, the best editor on YouTube hands down. Yeah, let's get it. Yesterday, Gordon Ramsay jump scared everyone by revealing he'd been in a serious accident and said that the helmet he was wearing actually saved his life. And he also Damn. thanked the doctors and everyone that took care of him in the hospital from it. And basically it's a message kind of urging everyone to wear a helmet when cycling. Hi guys, it's Gordon. Um, I'd like to share a very important message with you all. Um, Bro, he's still shooking up. You see his hand? What? Nah, that's scary, bro. When cycling. Hi guys, it's Gordon. Um, I'd like to share a very important message with you all. Um, you know how much I love cycling and triathlons and Ironman, etc. Um, yeah. This week, unfortunately, I had a really bad accident um, and it really shook me. And honestly, um, I'm lucky to be here. He really does seem shaken up by this whole experience here. Yeah, when I think of like... Gordon Ramsay, I immediately think of him calling someone an idiot sandwich and yelling and screaming. <laughs> so if I had heard that Gordon Ramsay got into a bike accident, I would immediately assume that he got off the bike, started shaking his fist at it and calling it a fucking donkey or something and spitting on the bike. But then he'd walk away unscathed, unfazed and throw a grilled cheese in the fireplace and just take a big old bite out of it. But in this case, that's just not what happened. Whatever the accident was, it really has taken some kind of toll on Gordon, and he's trying to educate people on the importance of helmets and how it actually saved his life. Now, this is a lesson that people have heard a million times. Hey, that's a WW advice, bro. Always wear protection, bro. I'm saying always wear protection. Regardless of what you're doing, always wear protection. That's my advice for me to you, bro. Times in their life, I'm pretty sure this has been taught more than the multiplication tables in elementary school. Everyone knows you should wear a helmet when cycling. But in current day and age, a lot of people just don't give a fuck about that anymore. They just kind of wipe their ass with safety for the sake of, like, convenience, maybe. In my it. area in yeah. particular, there's a ton of cyclists. They, they swarm. And I almost never see any of them wearing helmets. Which I always find odd because what's the point in playing life on ultra nightmare mode? It takes like five additional seconds to just throw on a helmet real quick and it could be... It doesn't look as cool. I'm gonna be honest, bro. Like, have you seen the designs of helmets? Like, like bicycle helmets? Yeah, they're not cool, bro. Like... <laughs> a game changer. To me, the risk versus reward ratio here is all cattywampus. It's not computing up here. I don't see why you wouldn't just wear a helmet to be safe. It's not like you get some kind of like additional benefit out of not wearing one. So I, I, I don't really understand it, but I'm not your fucking dad. If you want to go out there without a helmet on and I see you on the sidewalk, I'm not going to slam on my brake and drift my car in sideways. So I'll get out and start, you know, giving you a spanking and I telling mean, you that I you're mean, being naughty. I mean, to be fair though, there is a lot of Karens like that though. So I mean... There is a lot of Karens like that. Not wearing helmet. <laughs> That's fucking your choice to make, I suppose. I think it's a silly one, though. And I really appreciate that Gordon Ramsay's coming forward and using his platform to just try and educate people again on how True. important a helmet is and how it can actually save your life. Now, from those incredible trauma surgeons, doctors, nurses in the hospital that looked after me this week, they were amazing. But honestly, you've got to wear a helmet. Um, I don't care mm -hmm. how short the journey is. I don't care... You know, the fact that these helmets cost money, but they're crucial. Even with the kids, a short journey, they've got to wear a helmet. Now, I'm lucky to be standing here. I'm in pain, it's been a brutal week, and I'm sort of getting through it. But, um, what? I can't tell you the importance of wearing Holy. a helmet. That is a gnarly bruise right there. Calling that a bruise is doing it a disservice. When I bang Bro, my his whole entire torso is black and blue. What? I never see anything like that. I knee on this desk when I get excited, I'll sometimes bruise. That is like he got hit by five sledgehammers. That looks like the damage you would suffer if one punch man accidentally flicked you in the oblique. That is a crazy <laughs> amount you. of bruising. I, like, I don't know how he's standing. This weekend is massive. It's Father's Day um, for new fathers, old fathers, middle-aged fathers. I want to wish you all a very happy Father's Day. But Appreciate please, you. Please, Appreciate please, you. Please wear a helmet because if I didn't, honestly, I wouldn't be here now.
Happy Father's Day. An unexpected video from Gordon Ramsay, but an appreciated one. Like, he's just sharing his first-hand experience here with something traumatic that he went through and how... It's good to see him having that clip out that's going, like, viral. I mean, it's not, like, the same. You know, it's, it's still, like, a traumatic event, but it's good to see, like, a viral clip going around without him, like, yelling at someone or insulting someone, you know? <laughs> oh. He believes his life was saved thanks to that helmet and of course the doctors and everyone at the hospital that treated him and just trying to spread that message and i think that is nothing but two big thumbs up from him and just trying to spread that message and i think that is nothing but two big thumbs up for me there but twitter is a different story yeah. twitter <laughs> ghouls have this impressive ability almost like an x-men level mutation here it's almost a superpower to find the stupidest spins on even the most cut and dry situations. Something as simple as, hey, where are Bro, a after what I seen what Twitter tried to do with Mr. Beast for actually helping uh, people in different culture and villages in Africa with clean water, they're trying to find a way to flip it to cancel him. Bro, I, I lost all hope on Twitter, bro. Like, the hell, it's good. Twitter is just a, a site to just go on just to get, like, you're not off and then you just, like, clicked off, like, close the app. That's literally what Twitter is, not what these days. Good to keep you safe. Maybe you might want to think about doing that. They find a way to turn it into something bad one intellectual powerhouse replied to gordon's video saying complete shite gordon and then he dropped this fat little nugget of wisdom here which is a graph that shows death per billions of kilometers cycled versus oh the God. helmet wearing rate percentage of these regions imagine being the loveless loser who comes in here <laughs> going ballistic because a guy who almost lost his life is talking about how a helmet might have saved it now, this individual isn't the only one fighting back against Big Helmet here, but he is by far the most adamant. He is tooth and nail in the trenches, still replying as of me making this video like 18 hours later, it oh seems. Oh my god. So he is definitely their <laughs> fiercest warrior opposed to helmets. Now, he makes arguments that helmets do nothing to mitigate serious injury. They only help with, like, scrapes and bruises, maybe, but doesn't actually do anything to contribute to cycling okay. safety and calls them an unnecessary distraction. And then says the big issue that needs to be addressed is fixing infrastructure and driver policing. Now, let's say Gordon Ramsay subscribed to this guy's belief system. He'd be dead. If he viewed helmets as an unnecessary distraction, Gordon Ramsay would be six feet under right now, fucking making risottos up in heaven. So, <laughs> legitimately, he is just wrong about them being an un unnecessary distraction. In the situation Gordon Ramsay is describing, without that helmet, he wouldn't have survived. I also just don't yeah. understand what it's a distraction from. Is it distracting you from sending your 4,000th tweet in the last 24 hours? Like, how is it an unnecessary distraction? It takes fuck. They're just looking for clout, bro. Don't let these troll, these little kids out living in their parents' basement, having seen daylight or touched grass and like since COVID. Like, don't worry about those type of kids, bro. Like, those type of trolls, they just want attention. They seek attention that they never had growing up from their own parents, and it's kind of sad. Like, you feel five me? seconds to put a helmet on, and it does help keep you a bit safer. Of course, it doesn't solve every problem magically. Nobody is saying it does. He's fighting a ghost here in the comments. He keeps thinking that everyone's saying that a helmet solves all the biking-related issues with, like, cyclists dying, whatever. Like, that's not what anyone's saying. All they're saying is it does just help your odds. And in this case, it actually did save Gordon Ramsay's life. There's just no reason not to wear a helmet. The main thing he wants is better infrastructure for cyclists, which I do completely agree with, especially in the United States in particular. Facts, please, thank you. Why is a bike lane on the road with cars? I will never understand that. Like, why would... This is a car lane, and the bike lane, bicycle lane, is right beside of it. Anyone on a bicycle can fall, and you're literally in the road in front of cars. One little bump, you fell, yeah, you're getting run over immediately. They... There's no, like, separation. There's no median in between, like, the bike lane from the actual road. There's no nothing, bro. Having better infrastructure for that is absolutely the safest possible thing for cyclists. He dropped this here talking about how the solution is the infrastructure and that the helmet is an easy out by promoting it. 
and no one's arguing that a helmet is going to, you know, make sure that cyclists are immortal or anything. But it's just like the easiest thing you can do to immediately improve your odds of surviving something traumatic like Gordon Ramsay experienced here. The beautiful thing about having so many neurons in your brain is that you can actually focus on multiple different things at the same time. <laughs> you can be saying we need better infrastructure to keep cyclists safe while also saying, hey, cyclists, helmets do actually help you in the event of an accident. It improves your odds a little bit. You can do both things. Again, Nothing is a helmet is not this end-all, be-all of safety, this panacea that cures any possible problem with, like, cycling safety. But it is something that undeniably helps. Another thing this cringe vulture and a few others like him do in the comments... he posted all this? Nah, he was reaching, reaching. What the hell? ...section is latch on to this idea that we don't wear helmets while driving, which makes everyone a hypocrite because driving causes a lot of head injuries. Basically just keeps reiterating, why aren't you wearing a helmet while driving a car? You absolute goober, when you drive a car, most people wear a seatbelt to improve their odds of surviving a crash. The car is also equipped with safety equipment such as airbags to help keep you alive in the event of a crash. On a bike, what do you have? Did you put an Notch. ejector seat on your bike to immediately get out of a tricky situation? You put a baseball card in the spokes of your bike and then installed some fucking airbags down there too to keep you alive? No. The only thing that you can really do here on a bike in this context is wear a helmet. That would be the equivalent of wearing a seatbelt while driving. You're making Bags, a helmet, you know, um, a jacket, even like one of those like pants, some good boots, some gloves. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can use. Dog shit arguments for an indefensible position. Don't wear helmets. You're a fucking lunatic. It sounds like you've already hit your head and you want more people to join you there. He even has the gall to say this. The reasons not to wear a helmet is that you take more risky decisions when wearing a helmet and drivers take more risky decisions around you. He's almost saying that it's more dangerous to wear a helmet than it is not to and just raw dog it, which is oh just God, ridiculous. Bro. It's so silly, I don't even know where to start. So he thinks that cyclists who are wearing a helmet make more risky decisions because they're wearing a helmet. I don't think so. I don't feel like when people... Because I have a helmet on, let me just ride in front of this car because I feel most I feel much safer because I have a helmet on. Let me do some crazy stunt because I have a, that's not how that works, bro. Because someone not wearing a seatbelt doesn't mean like, oh, let me go top speed because I don't because because I have a seatbelt on. That's not how that works. What? People put on a helmet, they think that all of a sudden they become Superman. I just don't see that being the case. Yeah, just like, like someone what? who puts on a seatbelt doesn't immediately think they can fucking ramp off of a parked tow truck like it's GTA 5 and be unscathed. I don't think that's the case for cyclists wearing a helmet. And I really don't think that drivers are going to start treating you different if you're wearing a helmet versus not. Like, I don't think drivers are going to see you wearing a helmet and be like, oh, this guy can take a little bump here and just fucking swerve into him or anything. <laughs> if you're wearing Imagine. a helmet, I don't think drivers are going to start making riskier decisions because they think you're in, like, fucking body armor or anything versus if you weren't wearing a helmet. I just don't see that being the case in reality at all. He also goes on to say helmets are no use in collisions involving motor vehicles, which fucking obviously... No one's saying that you're going to be able to take a car head-on in a game of chicken just because you're wearing a helmet on your bike. It's a <laughs> stupid argument to make. Oh, uh, well, if my bicycle helmet can't stop a bullet, what the fuck is the point in wearing it, I suppose? I'll just go without. Useless to me now. It's silly. It's super yeah. dumb. It, like, there's no real good argument you will ever be able to make that wearing a helmet is a bad thing. And Gordon Ramsay's video and message here is just an overwhelmingly positive one, and I'm happy to hear that he's recovering and he's okay. And I'm wishing him the best going yeah, forward. Bro. Gordon Ramsay, he is a legend, bro. A good thing he's healthy and he's alive and not being taken out because that would be a blow to like the whole like food community and the whole food network and whatnot. Yeah. Bird. And I appreciate that he's sharing this message because clearly it is one that is still somewhat needed here because there are people out there that don't think helmets are worth wearing, I suppose. So it's not like a, a useless message either. So I just wanted to talk about this a little bit. I got a, a bit heated here clearly about this anti-helmet <laughs> rhetoric, which I think is just so fucking dumb that I was baffled. So I dove deep into this rabbit hole here and I just had to talk about it a little bit. Again, glad Gordon Ramsay's all right. That's about it. See ya. All right, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy. As always, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.